Wakanda. Shut it off. Wakanda. Shut it off. Wakanda. Hi guys, Paul here for another PA Brew News review, and uh, today's my birthday, so we got a. I just took a little trip. We got some special beers, things like that. But for right now, I want to stick with the PA brews, and I got a special PA brew for me to do today on the on my birthday. So I got batch six 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 from the Appalachian Brewing Company. Uh, they had the special release of this back um, in October, and I didn't get a chance to get down to. Uh, to try it, um, so I didn't think I'd ever get a chance to, but luckily where I was, when I was looking for beer, they had a, a big old bottle of it, so I definitely grabbed it. was the last one too, I'm pretty sure, so I grabbed it. Um, this is an ale. Um, comes in at 7.7% alcohol content. Don't know much more about it than that. Um, since I didn't think I'd ever get a chance to do it, try it, I actually didn't read up on it or anything. This is abcbrew.com and it comes in the, uh, the brew in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. There's a bunch of different ones you can actually go. Collegeville, Gettysburg, uh, Camp Hill. They have different places you can try their beers at. Uh, different brew pubs. So uh, we're going to give number 666 uh, a try and see how it is. Come on, boy. You can do it. Here we go. Ooh. I can't exactly remember the batch from what they actually used to create this. All I know, all I know is the devil made him do it. So there you go. Extremely dark. Really dark, dark brown. Almost like a double box kind of color. Or a real hearty strong ale. Big, big two finger head. Really fruity, really dark fruit kind of smells. Spices too, so much like a spice. Dark fruits, a real malt, base sweet sweet malt. Kind of a nutty spice to it too. Yeah, the dark brown light you can see through it um, makes a very very amber ruby color. Off going towards the tan head. Slightly carbonated, so we'll have to give it a go. Cheers. rich. A nice rich feel. Really dark roasted malts. Really roasty and dark and sweet. Mixed with this earthy, really earthy hop. It's an earthy semi-bitter hop mixed with this earthy fruity flavors. Roasted malts, dark fruits, and an earthy kind of hop blend together with a nice bitterness. It smells really, really good. Um, it's a dark, broody kind of a, a smell. Kind of reminds me, the smell of this actually kind of reminds me of um, a little bit of uh, St. Peter's Old Style Porter. A little bit in the nose. Can I get, I get like weird, weird hints of caramel. 
Yeah, it's nicely complex, and the water, the water quality tastes very good too. That's why a lot of it reminds me of that St. Peter's, just the way. It, look at these 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 hints of uh, like kind of cherries, chocolate, this spice, kind of like a, a nutty spice with the malts and the hops that that they put into it. It's a uh, it's really good. Seven point seven percent, easy to drink, no real alcohol taste in it. Nice uh, bitter qualities that they leave in the back of your mouth for a little bit and let it dissolve. Good lacing on it too, excellent lacing. Six 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 Appalachian Brewing Company. It's definitely a winner. This is a good. This is good. good. Now, I don't know if they're ever going to brew it again. If it's just a one-off, I know they do specialty beers. I doubt they'll make it a flagship, a flagship beer, but but this one's a very good go. One more taste. That's enjoyable to drink. Nice quality, crafted well. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this the specialty beer. They did a really great job. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. This is a really, really excellent, excellent ale. A real treat for me on my birthday. I'm glad I reviewed it. I'm glad I found it. Glad I got it. If there is any more of these, you see, I got this in State College at the Hop Shop. Definitely go down there and get it if they have any more. If you see it anywhere, definitely pick it up. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.